So, out of drag, I go by K. But in drag, I'm Queenie, the doll, Barry's little brat. I just kind of changed up my name recently. But you can just call me Queenie. Uh, how did you grow up? Well, I grew up very, very, like... I was a poor bad child. I was a poor <laughs> child who didn't know how to read. No. <laughs> uh, I grew up in Markham, so not a lot of big things happen in there. I went to three different schools growing up because you might not notice it now, but back then I was very feminine and I was very angry. <laughs> so after a behavioral school and fun stuff like that, learning how to express myself and kind of be accepting of who I am really helped growing up in a small place like that. But I had the opportunity of living in Toronto for a little bit and getting more experience and uh, a wide range of people who I would be able to like fit in with. When did you discover you wanted to do drag? I always did drag, <laughs> like let's be real. Um, living in Markham I had a huge lawn next to my house and I used to wear stockings on my head as hair and I used to have my little Walkman with like the Walkman pop too for all those who are in the 80s and 90s and know what the Walkmans are. <laughs> and I would wear the, like, the big over the headphones too and I'd be dancing, basically lip syncing to nobody. So I felt like I always was a drag queen and I always wanted to be drag, but I didn't know what it was until like maybe when I was about 12 or 13 and I started actually getting into uh, understanding what it all meant and realizing, well, not a lot of things that I want to do are really meant for me. It's, uh, it's more complicated or it's very competitive and this felt like the most freeing sport art and uh, self way of self-expression really.